I'm Terry, and this is The Catholic Breakdown. I'm trying something new with this video. As you know, I post educational videos where I typically talk about different facets of the Catholic faith. In those videos, I try to avoid giving my personal opinion because I'm dealing with truth. However, there are times where I'd rather talk about newsworthy events or prudential matters. So this is the first of Terry Takes. And it's about my hiatus on Twitter. Starting August 1st, I'll be taking a one month break from Twitter for two reasons. And here they are. Number one, my life has been consumed by Twitter. I wake up, I check Twitter. I go to work, I check Twitter. I come home, I check Twitter. I make dinner, I check Twitter. Twitter, 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 Twitter. I need to break this addiction. I need to pray more and study more and spend more quality time with my wife. The second reason is a little bit more in depth. I've noticed a lot of toxicity on Twitter in the last few months, and I've gotten caught up in it. I've become venomous and mean-spirited, sharpening my tongue, hardening my heart. And that's not good. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being mean-spirited for the sake of being mean-spirited. And I'm sorry for avoiding meaningful discussion and prayer. And similar to Aaron Burr, I need to talk less and pray more. What's really gotten me going these last few months is extremism on matters that are either personal preference or prudential. I've seen posts where people impose their opinion as if it were fact when it isn't. You must like this kind of church to be Catholic. You must love this priest, hate this priest, and wear XYZ to Mass. Latin or die. You must adhere to the 1950s marketing definition of manliness. Pray the rosary or you're going to hell, etc. And it causes problems if I say I like modern churches or I'm a fan of Jesuits. I either stay silent or I speak my opinion, causing fights where no one's opinion has changed. I can count on one hand how many times my opinion has been changed because of an argument on Twitter. I've also noticed a strong disparity between the lady and the priests of Catholic Twitter. I have seen some of the lady be the ones who typically impose these self-created, self-righteous rules. I have seen some of the lady take church teaching to the extreme and demand everyone be like them. And I've seen priests proclaiming God's love for all of his children manifested in Christ. I want to see more of that. I want to see less of wear this, or say that, and more of, God loves you. And I've become disheartened, because there's probably been people who have been interested in our faith, or new to our faith, who have seen Catholic Twitter and thought, nah, rather not. Also, heaven help you if 280 characters is not enough to explain a complex facet of our faith. Instead of fraternal correction or asking clarifying questions, you're put on trial, and the word heretic gets thrown around. And I share blame in all of this, and I'm sorry. I really am. And here's the deal. I can understand the extremism because we've seen things that are truly problematic. Desecration of the Eucharist or a lack of belief in the true presence, those are major issues. But I think people overcorrect and begin imposing all these extreme, unnecessary rules that you need to become Catholic, much less be on Catholic Twitter. And it's just ridiculous. Now, there are amazing things about Catholic Twitter. I have made real friends on this website. There are people who know my phone number. I don't even give out my last name. The outpouring of love that I felt when my dad died really helped me. I've met amazing priests who have offered great counsel, guidance, and correction. Prayer requests are one of my favorite things about Catholic Twitter. I love praying for you, and I love that you pray for me. I love us helping each other to be people of holiness, to bring God glory. But balancing the good and the bad is tricky, and I've done a crappy job. So for one month, I'm on hiatus. By the time you see this video, my wife will have already changed my password. If you want to get a hold of me, my email is below and I check it daily. Feel free to send me prayer requests or email me for the sake of emailing me. Say hi. I'm also going to resume making videos. One is coming out this Thursday. If you like it, do me a favor and share it on Twitter because I won't be able to. During this break, please pray for me and know that you're in my prayers. God bless and get a colonoscopy.